Hey, this is a little quick tutorial on how to uh, use uh, an app on your Android phone called uh, Fingerplay to control to act as a wireless MIDI controller for, for Serato Scratch Life. So basically, um, you're just going to go to uh, sundancekid.net slash blog slash fingerplay dash MIDI and uh, that's where the directions are if you can't understand exactly how to do it from my tutorial. Um, basically all you have to do is download a uh, finger play from the Android market. It's a free app and uh, make sure you have Java installed on your computer and then download and install uh, Loop V1 which is a virtual MIDI driver that needs to be opened on your computer when you're using it and also you need uh, the finger place server zip file you need to extract that somewhere on your computer so basically I've already done all that Bas uh, you open I've already downloaded it so I'll just go to my downloads and where is it where is it where is it where is it Uh, there they are. So you uh, set up your loop B1. So basically, you just open it and say yes. I'm not actually gonna install it because it's already installed and running. So install that first, and then go to uh, your next one, which is the fingerplayserver.zip, and open that and extract it somewhere. I think I ended up extracting it into my documents in a folder called fingerplay and then you hit run on that and that'll open a command prompt and it'll give you an IP which I already have it running and I don't feel like showing you guys my IP so um, basically you get that IP and you enter it into the program fingerplay so now you go into the fingerplay app and uh, you go into the settings and you sit the first thing you do is server type and you pick finger server which is the first one and then you put in your server address on the second one cancel don't want to show you that and then basically you just connect to server so once you have all that stuff running on your lap on your laptop or computer or whatever you just uh, click connect to server and make sure Wi-Fi is turned on on your phone because that's how you do it and uh, then you're connected and then you could open up Serato which I do not have open yet <coughs> and uh, you can configure your MIDI controllers and uh, anything that can be controlled with MIDI you can control wirelessly with your phone so if I wanted to control, you know, these DJ effects or something, I'd come in here, I'd click MIDI, and then I'd go into the settings, it's configure MIDI controllers, and if I want to put it on the XY pad for these two knobs to control the same, to control the same uh, with like an XY pad, like a, um, like a chord chaos pad or something. Uh, basically, you just select uh, send horizontal, and you click here. It's already clicked here, so I will do it here. You uh, you click here, and then you send horizontal. And for some reason, you got to hit it twice, and then it assigns that MIDI to it. And then on this one, same thing, you click on it once and then send vertical. And if you click if you click on your phone twice, for some reason it's gonna take three times, it turns green, and then you have that set. And then you just come up here, hit the little MIDI button, and back out of there. And now I set basically this this uh, XY pad to control those two knobs. So as you look, as I control my finger, I'm controlling those two knobs via my touch phone. So I set it to, it looks like a flanger and a high pass filter right there. So if I actually put music on, 
uh, I don't know, we're going to just throw on a little electro or something. A little lightly. I'm getting a USB here, that's all. And Got a little thing going. Also, set it to loops or cues or whatever you want. I have it set to to a double repeat. I have it set to a double repeat. Uh, one beat, a half beat, quarter, and eight. And I can control all that with with that. And uh, I also have other effects set up, but uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So now you can control your MIDI wirelessly from the crowd or whatever you want to do. And basically I could change the effects to whatever I want. Like an echo. And a uh, uh, crusher. I don't know. Anything. And, and that's about it. Alright.